Uh, you're here right now with Joel Hampton at the quarry uh, down in Naples, Florida. We're going to work on a little bit of double switching and strategy and moving with our partner. All right. First of all, what we're going to look at is what not to do when that short ball comes across the net, and let's find out what happens. All right. Here we go. Oh, yours. Oh, yours. That's yours. Oh, oh no. That's yours. So what happened there typically happens in a match. That short ball comes across, the net person kind of stutters, looks for it, the baseliner stutters, looks for it. They both want the ball, but no one actually goes to it. Now let's see what we want to have happen and the commitment to the shot. Here we go. Line, switch, switch. Nice, and then we have coverage down the line. Just that easy, all right? We'll run it one more time. There it is. Your switch. There we go. Got coverage. Nice. And that's what it's supposed to look like. When we move across the net, we talk to our partner so they know where to go and what we're doing. And our partner always has our back covered and is able to connect with the next shot. One last time. Make it a little more difficult. There it is. Oh, he's on the move. He's on the move. Nice. And we have coverage. That's what I like to see. They both cover each other. I like it. Now, we're going to move on to lob retrieval and switching with our partner. So, when we're up at the net and that ball gets popped up and over us, what do we do? Most of the time, we kind of stand there, look at it, or we move in the wrong direction. Let's see what these guys have in store for us. All right, so that ball's going up and over. Yours. Switch. Yeah, that's nice. Good. There we go. Up and over oh, again. Oh, I like it. And up and over one more time. Oh. 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 All oh, right. Huh? Are you in this match? No. <laughs> so now, what you see right now going on happens way too often. We have our net person switching back and forth, but they come with liability because they never fade back. They never go back to help their partner. That ball goes up and over their head and they hang out at the net. They have to fade back and let them let their partner have room to hit and also help them out in the baseline. They're becoming defensive. They don't want to stay up front in an offensive position. Now, let's see if they can switch it up and get themselves back in the game. Nice, and then look what happens. Beautiful. Now they're both back in a defensive position, able to play and see the entire court. That's what I like to see happen. Very nice, guys. One more time. One more time. Well, here we go. We're going to make them work. Good communication. Nice. There it is. Good. And here he comes. Oh, no. Nice. Now what they did there, they transitioned from defensive to offensive positioning. They moved forward together as a team. They had a good plan and great communication. I like it. Right now, the guys are setting up to, to play a point that we see a lot of. We see a lot of shots hit down the middle and we end up staring at each other, or what I like to call supervising the point. Let's see what that looks like in real time. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no! Now, if you notice, the ball got put into the middle of the court. One of our guys made a great effort for the ball. The other one was standing on the sideline supervising. And not really encouraging that much either, by the way. And then, he's got to cover the rest of the court to come back. Let's see what that looks like when both partners switch and move in the right spot. Oh, yours. Good, good, nice, and right there, beautiful. That right there is cutting off the angles and supporting your partner. I love it. Let's run it one more time and see if we can get them a little more amped up. Yours, switch. Right. Nice, good switching, good, and then here he comes, he's on the move. Perfect. And that's the way to close the gap. Look at that. And that's what we want to see at the end of every match. 
So, quick little recap. When we're playing doubles, we have to communicate with our partner. Let them know where to go, when to go. Also, make sure to cover your partner. Don't leave them hanging out to dry. All right, when that ball is short and your partner at the net moves across to take that ball, you on the baseline, talk to them and switch and cover their alley. When that ball gets popped over your doubles partner's head, make sure you get back there and as the net person, you wanna fade back to a defensive position to reassess your situation and then possibly move forward back onto offense. And with that third ball being put right in the middle, you wanna make sure you move over and cover off the angle because your partner is going to fade and come right behind you with their momentum and their speed. All right? So keep in mind, keep all balls inside the lines and no double faulting.